The Abingdon School District near Philadelphia is making waves amongst public schools across America. So this is really the integration of technology, engineering, and music. Led by a superintendent who understands the key is putting students first. This is a place that values education. You don't move to a community because they have a great park system or a great police department or a great hospital. You move to a community because it values education and it's a place where you want to send your children to school. But is it positive, is it negative? Uh, I would say the philosophy of the Abington School District is to have students be as included as possible with their, um, with their age level peers. We are truly math what? Superstars. Superstars, geniuses. This is one of Da Vinci's actually just sketches. This district is literally cooking with steam. Well, STEAM, I mean, it, it's innovative teaching. We hire the best and the brightest teachers, and I think we've been able to improvise, overcome, and adapt to situations when it comes to budget crunches and uh, very, very inexpensive projects, but with bright teachers and bright students, we were able to uh, take advantage of the STEAM initiative. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And to just be focusing on what many people think education is now, standardized tests and high stakes testing, that's all important and we as educators need to be accountable, but it's so much bigger and so much more than that. Children learn in many different kinds of ways. <laughs> So you have unknown one in there. Today we're, um, we're testing unknown samples from crime scenes. There, there has been a lot of discussion that American children are not top notch in science. And I just don't quite buy that. We're testing different materials to see how they react with uh, different chemicals and how they burn. Uh, today's lab, we're going to do uh, life in moving water. We want them to do it, to feel it, to be involved, to understand it, to explain it, to talk about it, to write about it. Hands-on learning, practical application um, ha is more meaningful for students and retention. Technology, that is a door opener for all of us. Is that what you want for lunch, a salad? <laughs> you like salad. We are in a classroom for children who are autistic and have life skills needs. And what you can see going on here is communication through iPads, communication through vehicles they enjoy. So what I want you to do is answer this question using your clicker. How many of the race cars are yellow? Children are able to interact with the clickers. The teacher is able to pose a question. All of the students can type in a response. And what's valuable about them is they also give data to the teacher about which students are um, gathering the information about what they're teaching and which are not. So um, we have the robotics club. This is our second year. And they're um, setting up their sea perches, which they built last year. Eventually, I want to do something like this when I get older, design uh, robots. I want to be a mechanical engineer. We have an obstacle course, and we're getting our robot through the obstacle course. Engineering is an area that I think is just so important that we begin to focus on um, in public education and that's an area that there's just so much adventure and excitement and all kinds of good things going on. Arts. How can you be a citizen in this country and not have an appreciation for art and music? And these are the kinds of things that sometimes makes a student want to come to school and want to continue and have a future. All right, ready and go. There's no question that, that art and music makes you think and feel and respond in a different kind of way. Nickel, nickel, they get that. You are worth five cents, I know that. Mathematics. We need to make sure students understand that they can do well in the area of mathematics and there's nothing to fear. So I've already put the numbers into list one and list two. A little bit more than half of the students were faster with their non-dominant hand than their dominant. I am just in awe every single day, not only by our teaching staff, but by what our students are doing.
And it's important that we begin to recognize that public education is just the foundation of this country. Everyone here has the opportunity to attend a public school, and nothing would make me happier than if every child in the United States had an opportunity to go to a school like the Abington School District, and everybody deserves that. And that's what we, as superintendents across the country, strive to deliver. We want to make sure all students are served. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.